Hello and welcome to 21 Days of Prayer and Fasting. My name is Raina and today we'll be talking about having a life of impact. In 1 Samuel 25, we read the story of Nabal and Abigail. Now the story is a little long, so I'm going to give you a quick recap. Nabal was an angry man that didn't have a kind heart and he only cared for his own needs. One day, King David and his men were passing through Carmel, where they lived, and they asked Nabal if they could set up camp in his land. In the past, King David had allowed Nabal's shepherds to stay on his land with no issue and thought that maybe Nabal would return the favor now. That wasn't the case. Nabal was angry that King David would even ask. So King David's men returned to him with a negative answer that they had received from Nabal, which caused King David to get angry, and he instructed his men to pick up their swords because they were going to kill and destroy everything that Nabal owned. We can see here that Nabal's decision caused a negative impact for himself, for his family, for his sheep, and for those who worked for him. None of those people made the decision to deny the king a place to stay, but they would be the ones who had to suffer the consequence of one man's pride and anger. Now when all of this was happening, Abigail, who was Nabal's wife, heard that the King David's men were on their way to kill and destroy all of them. So Abigail decided to load up a donkey filled with gifts and food for the king and his men. She rode out to stop King David before he could reach Carmel. When she finally crossed paths with him, she fell to her knees and humbly asked for forgiveness on behalf of her husband. King David's heart was moved and he told his men to stand down and not to bring harm to anyone in Carmel. We should want to be like Abigail. In the face of certain death, her actions led the king to change his heart. She became peace, She came peacefully without pride. The crazy thing is that her family and those shepherds that worked for her family didn't even know that their lives were in danger. She was fighting a battle quietly that saved countless lives. Think of all of the generations and generations of families that exist today because of the impact of, that Abigail had on King David. Abigail took a stand on behalf of those people and their lives were blessed because of it and they didn't even know it. Let's take this a step further. Maybe you are the Abigail in someone's life. Maybe the decisions that you make now are impacting the life of a person that you don't even know the name of. Maybe your decision to be a follower of Christ, to be kind, to love first, and to serve your community is the impact that someone around you needs. You may never know how important your decisions are in the life of others, but I pray that we all decide to be like Abigail in people's lives. Let's pray. God, I thank you so much for calling us to a purpose that you have placed in our lives, to be the light in the darkness and to be a salt and to be salt of the earth. I pray, Lord, that every day we choose to be like Abigail, that we are the impact in someone's life, whether we know their names or they know ours. God, let you always have the glory and that we always be a positive influence to those people around us. In your name we pray. Amen.